that quick what I was supposed to do next. No, I hadn't really. I was talking. We welcome you today. We're glad that you're here this morning. If you're visiting with us, we're certainly glad you've come to uh, worship with us at Poplar Grove. We welcome you today. A lot of things going on, and on this week and next week going to be a busy time out here. Um, Vacation Bible School will begin next Sunday evening, so there'll be no worship service in here because they'll be doing their thing. Uh, but Bible School will begin next uh, next Sunday evening at 6 o'clock. It's going to be a great week. Uh, we can still use a few of you all who would like to be a part of that. You can just let me know or, or Tina. Uh, and we will get you. Uh, we will get you involved with that. Men's ministry in the morning. We'll be gathering in the morning. Ladies on Tuesday. Of course, Wednesday we have uh, adult Bible study time in here. Then amplify for our youth uh, going on at the same time. Uh, be praying for our youth in preparation for their trip to uh, their mission trip. Just a great week uh, for our youth. They come back. It's amazing how they mature so much uh, after being gone from mom and dad, uh, you know, uh, for, uh, for a few days and with other kids out there. And so uh, uh, it's going to be a good week for them, and we need to pray for them uh, before they go. Uh, you can pick up one of these if you haven't already. The June one's out. Uh, these are articles from your staff to let you know about what's going on here, and that keeps everybody on the same page together. So let me encourage you to pick uh, the June copy up as, as you uh, leave the, the building today. Also, nursery workers, we need some of you to volunteer. There's a sign-up sheet on the bulletin board in the hall to my left, and uh, we need some of you to sign up to be a volunteer in there every now and then. Uh, those kids need you, and so we would appreciate it, certainly if you would do that. Now, the picture, our, our church directory, uh, we are getting the pictures together, and you say, well, I'm not a member of Papa Grove. That's okay. If you attend here, uh, we want you in there. We want you in our directory, uh, and so you can call the church. Victor and I are here uh, through the week, and uh, we'll get you in touch with uh, WMU ladies, or we'll take the information for you and get you scheduled. Uh, to make sure we have people on the outside today, a lot of people out there. And by the way, Dave Paget is back with us today, and we're certainly glad of that. Dave has gone through a, a tremendous ordeal with his health issues, and we're just praying for a complete recovery for him. Uh, but for those of you who are out there, we welcome you as well, and also we want you in our church directory as well. So be sure to make note of that. Okay, I think that covers everything. In a few moments when we do our courses, Girls, we'll have pastor pals, and I get to do it this month. I haven't got to do it for a while, and uh, so I'm able to do that now, and uh, I look forward to that. Chad will let you know when it's time for that. All right, Chad, come and lead us if you would, please. Well, good morning. Let's all stand this morning. We're going to try a new one that the choir's done a couple times, so try to join along with us from the rising of the sun to the going down of the sea.
When you are discouraged, thinking all is lost, count your many blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one, count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Good morning, boys and girls. Everybody well? Are you enjoying your first week out of school? Good deal. Well, that's good. I hope you have a good summer. Now, what I want to speak with you a few moments about today is that next Sunday night begins something to me is one of the most exciting weeks in the whole summer. What will it be? What's What do you think? Vacation Bible School, you got it. It's going to be a great week. So here's what I'm going to challenge you all to do, okay? I'm going to challenge you this week, every day when you do your prayer time, pray for Vacation Bible School. Would you do that? Raise your hand. All right, all of you are going to do that, okay. Just pray for Vacation Bible School, say a little prayer. Because this is, for many, this is one of the best weeks of the year. One of the best weeks we have for a lot of kids. Uh, and so we need to uh, say hello to them and greet them and welcome them, tell them we're ready for them. We make, uh, we make uh, new friends uh, when we do that. So it's going to be it's going to be an exciting time. But something else also is going on uh, this month. What would that be? What else? Father's Day. Boy, you're all right on top of things, aren't you? Yeah, Father's Day. Uh, We'll be here in a couple of Sundays or so. So today, our you know, our, our busy hands ladies, they meet here every Tuesday. There's a whole group of women. One of these days, you all uh, will be up there. Maybe you can meet with them, you know, one day when you get older. But they meet every Tuesday, and they have all kinds of projects they do to go to the nursing homes and take things to people there. You know, a lot of those people never get a visit. Well, they get a visit from these ladies, and and they take them different things, you know. So they have made you something today as a challenge for you uh, for Father's Day or for a caregiver that you have or maybe a grandparent you live. And so they've made something today uh, for you to use to give to them. And in a few moments, I'll give everyone one of these, so that'll be a good challenge for you. Uh, but you've got a good group of kids. Now, here's something else we'd like for you to do. Invite someone to come to Bible school with you. Maybe somebody that lives next door to you that could ride with you, you know. Uh, and that's how we grow and reach more people. We've got a lot of people who are waiting for Bible school to start. Volunteers to work in Bible school this year, teachers and everybody else that's going to work with you. All the refreshments, man, those things are good, aren't they? We'll have all that stuff this year. So it's going to be an exciting time. And I just want to remind you of that, plus uh, the Father's Day, and you can take, I'm going to give you one of these, and this will be something that you can do between now and Father's Day, okay? So let me pass these out to you, and I appreciate you all so much, and uh, there you go. You got a whole family here, don't you? Yeah, thank you. 
All right. And I appreciate our, our ladies who are doing this for us. That's so good. There you go, Brooks. Brooks got him a new brother, buddy. He's there you go. All right, we got a good group down here. This is a good start to vacation Bible school already. But it's gonna be a great year. There you go. I need one more. Yeah, okay. Let's get this one right here. All right, let me have a little prayer with you since I've challenged you to to be praying for Bible school. Let me have a, a little prayer with you all, okay? So let's bow our heads together and pray. Father, thank you for these boys and girls and thank you for what they mean to this church and thank you for their faithfulness. And so, Father, we just pray for Vacation Bible School that you'll put somebody on their heart, on their mind that they can invite, maybe a neighbor kid or a kid from school perhaps they know and maybe we see kids come in here and just learn about Jesus. That's what Bible school is about, just pointing uh, kids to Jesus. So, Father, help us to, to be all that we're supposed to be to them as we help them grow uh, in their Christian walk. And I pray this in Christ's name. Amen. All right. Thanks for coming down. Kids are precious, are they not? All right, uh, let me direct your prayer thoughts as we go to the Lord in prayer. Uh, we have a long list, and we do more detail on Wednesday evening uh, and in our prayer meeting, but let me share you some of the more urgent uh, needs that we need to remember. Uh, we need to remember Sharon Ball in our prayers, Norman Beat, uh, Joyce Bowman, Bob's mom, uh, Maxine Bray, uh, Joe Allen, Joe worships with us outside, and we're certainly glad of that. And he's going through some health issues. We need to remember him. Also, Shirley Douglas, Kathy Chandler, uh, Gary Compton. Remember Gary, if you would. Suzanne Eaton will be going, uh, not this coming week, but week after next, to the Cleveland Clinic to have major surgery. Uh, so remember her when you pray as well. Linda Ferris and Harlan Caldwell. Uh, uh, I need to remember Jennifer was telling me that Harlan Caldwell's having some issues, so uh, we need to remember him. I'll check on him tomorrow. Uh, Chuck Gambrell, uh, uh, Jason Estep certainly needs our prayers. Kevin Hart and wife Wendy both. Uh, Steve Hines, I spoke with his sister uh, this week, and she appreciates the prayers for him, and he certainly needs them. Also remember Randall Jackson. Randall's going through a tough time right now with some more issues, uh, plus what he already had. And uh, so remember him and also his son, Randy, who is a wonderful young man who takes care of his dad. And we need to remember, remember Randy as well. Laura Kennedy, continue to remember her. Vicki Killian, uh, Judy uh, Schmidt, we need to remember her in our prayers. Uh, Sue Wilcox, Eva Miracle. Uh, I spoke with Tom this week and Eva was in the background and uh, she's getting uh, better. Gloria Taylor, we need to continue to remember Gloria Taylor. Uh, Robbie Norman. And, of course, Dave Padgett is uh, back with us today out in his automobile, and let's pray that things are good for him in the days ahead. Uh, Paula Pelt, uh, Karen Prater, uh, Willard Pryor came out and visited about an hour with me this past week. Uh, Jean is, looks like closing down on the last of her life. So remember, uh, remember uh, Jean and Willard both uh, when you pray. Tanya Sawyers, Clara Rose Severe, Nancy Scott. Uh, Wanda Steele, I went by to visit Wanda this week, and uh, she said, tell the church, I, I thank them for the prayers, so we need to continue to remember her. Melvina Stevenson will be having surgery on the 24th uh, of this month, so we need to remember her as well. Carol Temple, continue to lift her up. Uh, Kathy Winterfield, and Janelle Winchester, she's getting ready to have some major surgery, uh, so pray for her, just a lovely young lady. Uh, in the hospital and more. And you remember her, Delmer Mills has been in the hospital. We visited him, but he's back home now, and we rejoice with that. And Larry Baker, he's out of the hospital, back home as well. And uh, then we need to uh, remember several families, uh, Mary uh, Alice Marlowe, uh, Brian Frederick, uh, 
mother-in-law, his wife has been down there with her in Florida, and she's passed away now this past week, so we need to remember, remember that family. Kenneth White, some of you worked with Kenneth White, I guess, for years at Wayne Supply. Uh, we need to remember his family, Junior Sizemore, uh, Billy Sizemore's uh, family, that's his dad. And Billy Brock, this is Phoebe Jervis, his brother, uh, who passed away uh, this past week, uh, Daryl Eaton. And also Roy Bullock. Most of you in this building, I'd say, have known Roy Bullock through the years. And uh, Roy uh, passed away. I went by the visitation Friday and uh, to visit that family. So we need to remember all those folks. Uh, also, uh, we need to remember Anita Schoolcraft. Anita will be going on missions this coming week uh, to Georgetown. Uh, she goes every year with a group from several other churches. And uh, so we need to remember Anita, uh, if you would, every day when you pray. Uh, they're going to a church there that needs an addition to the church. And, uh, and so they'll be, they'll be doing that, joining with other churches. So we pray for her safety and pray it all goes well. All right, let's take these needs to the Lord and whatever needs you have today. Uh, maybe you have someone on your heart who's not saved and you've been praying for them. Uh, don't ever stop praying for them. You keep on praying for them. So if you know someone day that you're praying for or someone on your heart, maybe it's a need you have for yourself. Maybe you're dealing with something. As an indication of that, would you lift your hands, please? All right, hands all over the building. Let's take these needs before the Lord as we pray. Father, we thank you for prayer. We just thank you for this privilege of gathering here today in this place to worship you. That's why we're here today. We're not here to do prayer meeting. We're not here to do all these other things. We are here today to worship and to praise you. But Father, we have the privilege of lifting up these on behalf of these uh, uh, who certainly need our prayers. And we thank you for that privilege. And so we lift all these needs up to you. And Father, we pray for this service now that your spirit would work among us today for those who've never met you as Lord and Savior, never had that personal relationship with you. Father, I pray this would be the day that you would lay on their hearts that I need to get that settled now. And Father, we pray for other decisions, perhaps a recommitted life or uh, church membership uh, for those who feel like this is where uh, that you're leading them to be a part of a local body, a local church, and that's what we all need to be a part of so that we can serve there and worship there with others. I pray that you'll bless Victor as he comes today in a few moments to share your word with us. You'll give him the word the words that we need to hear today. Thank you for our choir as they come to lead us as well because they lift us up to heaven. And then, Father, we just give them the, uh, the word, the written word to enrich their lives. And I pray this in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Let's all stand again. You are my strength when I am weak. There's probably not a prettier worded worship song than this one. You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I see. You are my
Run 